If you kill me, by the way, I'm Do killing you. <laughs> A few moments later. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> ah, no! What? Today we're gonna be dueling with another classic Yu-Gi-Oh set, Spell Ruler. The third Yu-Gi-Oh set to be released with iconic cards like Snatch Steel, Delinquent Duo, Cyber Jar, Confiscation, and Mystical Space Typhoon, as well as some iconic monsters like the Toons. So Alec and I are both going to open half of a box, build decks, have ourselves a duel. We've done a bunch of these videos actually, just with these different classic Yu-Gi-Oh sets. So I'll have them linked below. You can find them on the channel. Check them out if you like this type of Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Without further ado, drop a like, subscribe, and let's Let's get to the opening. Spell Ruler. This time I'm going to open my packs first, assuming I can get them open. Okay, so I'm taking the left side of this box. I've also got a bonus pack as well. Let's get to the Spell Ruler. <gasps> Ultra Rare, Acts of Despair, that rhyme. This is a good one. This is a very good equip spell. It gives you a thousand attack points. Horn of the Unicorn, another decent equip spell. And Malevolent Nuzzler, another decent equip spell. So these are probably the, I guess, the poor man's acts of despair if you could not get your hands on it back in the days. Oh man, super rare Toon World. This card doesn't do anything, actually. This just, card doesn't actually have an effect. You just pay a thousand to activate it, and it sits. But I've got a proclivity for getting pulls that I can't use in these packs, so. Giant rat, I forgot that some of these searchers were in here. I think I pulled a Mystic Tomato as well. Gets you an Earth Monster when it's destroyed by battle. Nimble Mamonga, a great card if you actually end up pulling three of this, but that's basically impossible. Chain Energy is actually like a decent one. You have to pay 500 to summon or activate cards, and it can like burn people out pretty fast, but you gotta be careful because like you, you might burn yourself before like your opponent gets burned out. I used to run it as a kid sometimes. Like around those around the table duels, like if you're playing like one of those like, uh, you know, chaos duels or whatever as they call them, where it's like eight people sitting around a table, you play this and it's just everybody has to just, oh, man, it reminds me of a game of like Commander and Magic. Ooh, a nice super, Mahavelo. Benefits from equip spells. This brings me back to Rare Hunters, because I think I remember pulling this same card and uh, trying to equip it with as much as I could and give it a lot of attack points. Cyber Jar, actually a rare. Crazy to think that cards like this were just rares back in the day. Darkness approaches. This actually used to change monsters to face down attack position, but that has since been eradicated. Cool, so not a bad haul. We did get, as expected, three foil cards. Toon World kind of useless, but Active Despair and Mahavelo are uh, they're actually okay, so I might be able to put these to use. Here's my box, or my half of Spell Ruler with my bonus pack on the side. Hopefully I pull at least as good or better than Paul. <gasps> oh, Toon Summon Skull, like, I'd rather like a regular summon skull, but you know, maybe I'll get tuned and I'll find a way to use this thing. Cyber Jar, very solid card. It's ultra rare snatch steel. Ooh, well that's a good card. Mother Grizzly, really? Wow! We got secret rare blue eyes toon dragon. Another Toon Monster. Yeah, now I kind of want to see the Toon World, even though I know it's a bad card. We got the Black Illusion Ritual. Maybe we'll get a Relinquished, we'll see. I'm actually definitely gonna play Chain Energy, and I hope Paul does too, so we can kind of have a burn battle.
Giant Trunade, a really solid super rare. Depends on what traps are at play, but you know, it's a really solid card. All right, y'all, Toon World has to be in here or two of my, or two of my hollows are just useless. All right, guys, so those are my pulls for Spell Ruler. Sadly, that means I will not be able to make use of my Toon Monsters. My other pulls are actually pretty good, so I'm gonna make use of those as, as I can. Are you ready to find out who's the Spell Ruler? Um, I'm actually the Magic. Ruler. I'm the OG. I, mm, mm, I think maybe I get legal in here. I don't know if you can say that. Uh, what I'm gonna do to you in this duel isn't gonna be legal. What does that mean? I'm maybe using like a banned card. That's all. Oh, okay. That sounded yeah, worse. That sounded than I awful. High roll duelist. Yeah. Oh, I got a three. Three. Golly. Okay. Okay. Oh. I got a seven. Seven. All cool. Right. Your pick. I'll go first. Awesome. Reminder. A reminder for you guys. We're using thirty card decks because these cards are really pretty old and bad. This is more than thirty. We didn't have to use 30, that's just the deck minimum. So these are old school cards, so I'm gonna go first and draw a card. Oh yeah, okay, all right, all right, take this out, take this out. Take this. You got something good going. Yeah, first I'm gonna play Toll. I'll normal summon my Send You of Thousand Hands. Oh God, you pulled that? I can add a ritual monster from deck to hand. What ritual monster are we gonna be seeing this I'll duel? get my Performance of Sword. Joy. Activate Commencement Are you hands. kidding? Yeah, nope, not even a little bit. You actually I'll had tribute both? Sonic Bird and my Send You. Oh wow. To summon Performance of Sword. And I'll end my turn. I'll draw a duelist. What if I normal summon? The Sonic Bird. Oh no! Which lets me, when normal summon, add a ritual spell card from my deck to my hand. Oh no! I'll be making a different ritual than you. No, performance of swords the weakest ritual. The Pearl Oath. I don't know why you're running it. Oh no! I mean, like if you're gonna be tributing level fours, you might as well. You open the crab turtle. No. Oh, thank God. Activate my Malevolent Nuzzler. I'm Ooh. just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna equip it to my Sonic Bird. Pay 500 and attack the Performance of Sword. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon my Sonic Bird. Let's get my Turtle Oath. I got a, you know, I have, I have a pretty cool card. Do you? you? Know what it is? What is it? Snatch Deal. I'm going to equip my Snatch Deal to your Sonic Bird and take control of it. You know it'd be insane. What if I equip my Sonic Bird with Horn and a Unicorn? Mm -hmm. Your Sonic Bird's gonna attack you directly, and I'll pay 500. And then I'll pay another 500 to attack with my Sonic Bird. I was like, oh man, I killed Performance of Sword. I'm good. All and right. now you've stolen it's my now Sonic your Bird. Turn. All right, Duelist. I draw. Two. Stand by phase, you'll gain a thousand. Oh yeah, that's true. I'll set a card phase down, set another card phase mm. down. I'll end my turn. Draw! I'm gonna pay 500 for your Sonic Bird to attack your face down. My monster is Guardian of the Throne Room. Before damage calculation, I have a card to activate. Ooh. My Reliable Guardian. Um, It'll increase a monster's defense by 700, putting it at 23. Oh, woof. you had to pay 500 and you lost 200. Bad exchange, man, even though I'm not in any better situation. It, wasn't a great, it was not a great exchange, so I have to pass there. I'll draw. Okay. So now you have a So, you have a standby body. phase. I'm gonna a gain a thousand. You coming back on me! Look yeah, at you! Yeah, man, we're, we're catching up. Let's switch the Guardian of the Throne Room to attack position. And we'll equip it with its own Horn of the Unicorn. Oh, it's stronger than one of our so, birds. So, yeah, it's now 2350 attack points. With 2350, I'm gonna pay 500 to be able to declare an attack. Okay, I'll attack my Sonic Bird, actually. That'd be the smarter play. I really wanted I you to attack Horn mine. Horn of the Unicorn has an effect. <laughs> Activate Chain Energy. Energy. Woo! Now attacking, yeah. playing cards. Anything, we're just gonna Everything pay. costs. All right, well, it's uh, your move then, Duelist. All right, I don't have to pay to draw though. I will pay 500 to set a monster phase down. I don't have to pay to switch my bird to defense That'd be position. funny. You have to pay to literally put your hand on a card. End my turn. I'll draw, Duelist. Normal summon High Tide Gyojin by paying 500 life points. My High Tide Gyojin will attack the Sonic Bird Gotta by pay paying five. 500. Poor unicorn when it gets sent to the graveyard and place itself on top of the deck. I'll pay another 500 to attack with Guardian of the Throne Room. Oh. Mother Grizz's effect will activate. Do I have to pay for that? I don't think so because I think it's like anything just from the hand. Okay, so, so then yeah. Mother Grizzly's effect was about to summon a water monster with 1500 or less attack. Mother Grizzly. All right, duelist. It's gonna end my turn. Draw. Switch my Grizzly to defense position. Now I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw on duelist. Let's pay another 500 and attack you with High Tide Gyojin. Do you have another water monster in your deck? I have deck? no targets. Okay, good. I'm paying another 500 
to attack you with Guardian of the Throne Room. Gotta take it. You are moved, Duelist. All right. Draw for turn. Pay 500 to set and pass. Let's draw on Duelist. I'm paying 500 to attack with High Tide Gyojin. Hit my Guardian. All right, paying 500 more to attack with Guardian of the Throne Room. You know what that means, Duelist? I can't play a card. You can't play a card. Your move. Draw. Pass. I draw, Duelist. My Guardian of the Throne Room attacks your life points directly. Pay 500. I was really- That'd be funny if I, I got so low, I couldn't attack. So that was the game of chicken I was really trying to play. Yeah. I was I trying to see who could get under, who could get the other one to fall under, under 500, 500 first. What happens? We just, <laughs> no, not a deck play. out, probably, yeah. <laughs> That might happen in this next like it couple could, games. It really might happen. All right, okay, we're going we'll to game play. two. We're game, going to game two. two. Game All two. Right. All right, duelist. Let's reset, reshuffle, up, and play. I, I, you making too many magic references today? I don't know what that's about. You guys can watch us on Tolarian Community College doing shuffle up and play, playing all the Magic the Gathering. But first, you got to finish this video. Deal? Yeah. Don't. You can't leave. You can't. If you if you leave, you'll miss it. We'll be gone forever. You'll never be able to see it again. We're gonna delete the video in about two minutes. This time, I'm going first. Actually, I went first last time. Draw. I'm gonna start by normal summoning Sonic Bird. I'll get my hamburger recipe. Pass. I'll draw. I'm gonna set up one card face down and end my turn. Duelist. Draw. I'll activate my Mystic Plasma Zone to increase Dark Monster's attack by 500, but decrease their defense by 400. He's got field spells. He's got rituals. You're really using the set yeah. to its that, full I mean, potential. I, you know, that was my goal. You know. Yeah, I suppose. I, I just want to use every single card I possibly can, and like that. You know, that's just wow. Game. Setting a few cards, are we? I'm gonna normal I'll summon my flash assailant. I'll activate chain energy. <laughs> so we're paying 500 for every card that we play and set. Now I'm only decreased by 400 in total. So my flash stand is actually 2100. Sonic Bird will attack you directly for 14. And then flash stand gonna attack for 21. Now in my turn. I draw a duelist. All right, duelist. Well, what if I normal summon this? The Maha Vela. Horn of the Unicorn right, on Mahavelo and Axe of Despair. Oh my god! Ultra rare. <laughs> I pay 500 and equip it to Mahavelo. So Mahavelo is now gaining 700 from Horn of the Unicorn, right. 1,000 from Axe of Despair, okay. and then 1,000 from its effect. So 2550 from its own effect, 3250, 4250. Woo! Attack point. <laughs> Never thought you'd see that in old school Yu Gi Oh, did you, bitch? Attack. Sonic Bird. Just getting all the bang for your bucket. Yeah, I get all the damage I can. Pay 500 to set a card face down. And then activate my own chain energy. Oh, you wild it. I'm paying another 500, which means that this is really risky and will honestly probably just cost me the game. What's somehow. on the field will just have to end this game. Your move, Duelist. 4250 right. Mahavelo is staring you in the, Draw. In the face. I'm not gonna lie, Paul. All oh, this crazy. But you're gonna lose the game. Am I? Yeah. Okay. I said everything I needed to. Well, Already. Did ya? I'll activate Giant Trunade. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna add put <laughs> all of our spells back to our hands. Hey, but now my Flash of Sand is like nothing. Look at all these cards. That's true, he's zero. Well, my Vela's still 1550, so. It doesn't matter. <laughs> What do you have in store? I'm activating Snatch Steel. You? I'm gonna can't... take control of your Maha Velo. What a terrible way to lose your Maha Velo. Yeah, bro, I feel you. I feel you. If you, you. feel me, then you'll it gets end your worse. turn. And then... So I'm gonna activate my Mystic Plasma Zone. Okay. Now I'll set a card. No need to showboat, Duelist. Now I'm gonna activate Chain Energy. Then I'm gonna pay 500 to activate Chain Energy. Maha Velo, attack directly. <sighs> Give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going first, Duelist. That's fine, that's that's fine. Whoever goes first gets to play their chain energy first. I draw. Hmm, let's start with the Sonic Bird, shall we? I'm getting Turtle Oath. Let's actually be told. How about I even <coughs> set a card face down, and then just end my turn. Draw for them. Let me set one face down. I'll activate Toll. Set set a, f a field spell and activate chain energy. All right, I'll pass. <laughs> I draw a duelist. If you want to play these games, do you? Yep. Normal summon Maha Velo by paying 500. Yeah, I'm actually, I'll put it over here so that way when I equip it with my Axe of Despair, I'll pay 1,000 and attack your face down monster with Maha Velo. 
It better not be something. Goodbye, my guardian. Thank God I didn't attack with Sonic Bird. I was really hoping you would. I was really hoping I'm you would. I'm paying a thousand to attack with my Sonic Bird for 1400. That's fair. You gotta figure some out, the duelist. If you snatch steal me, by the way, I'm Do killing you. <laughs> Do I have to figure something out? What if I already said everything I needed? Where you got? Where are you going? <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> what? I activate Smash D. I'm targeting Mahameda. <sighs> Enjoy, Duelist. That feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Enjoy your monster. So, but hey, you're gonna get some damage out of me. You guys, because I'm, I'm going to normal summon my mother Grizzly for 500. Flip over Umiruka. What the heck's this do? So my water monsters are gonna gain 500 attack and lose 400 defense. We're gonna pay 1,000 to have mother Grizzly attack Sonic Bird. Well, what if I have a surprise for you? Bring it on. I activate the card you fear the most, Taylor of the Fickle. Oh! Switch one equip card equipped to a monster to another correct target. Snatch Steel is now being equipped to my Sonic Bird. Wait! That's right, Duelist. But it says equip only to a monster your opponent controls. You have to pick an appropriate target. Yeah, a monster that your opponent controls. My I don't Sonic know if that's Bird. how that ruling works. No, it definitely works that way. I don't you think have to equip this is another monster that your opponent controls. I don't know if that works that way. hundred percent works that way. What? 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 what are you? I get no, no, I, no, no. I, I was confused. You're right. This is a monster my opponent controls. So it's gonna get equipped to Sonic Bird. Well, you keep the card. Oh yeah, it's equipped to Sonic And now Bird. Sonic Bird goes under your control. And since it's not equipped to Mahavelo, Mahavelo returns to me. Wow, okay. So Mother Grizzly was attacking, and I think a replay still a occurs replay here because occur. of monster's I number of- I am certainly yeah. not attacking that. Taylor of the Fickle. We're gonna switch to Sonic, move main phase two, switch Sonic Bird to defensive mode. Pass. Yes. I draw the uh, list. Uh, Standby phase. Snatch is gonna grant me an extra thousand attack oh, that's or cute. life points. That feels horrible. Horn of Light. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna equip it to Mahavelo by paying. 500. Now Mahavelo gains 800 defense, which doesn't mean a lot. But, but it's effect. Now its effect's gonna give it 3550 attack points. Mahavelo, I'm gonna attack you by paying 1000. Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly's effect will activate. And we'll summon a Mother Grizzly. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. We're gonna switch Mother Grizzly to defensive mode. I'll pass. I told you what I was gonna do to you in this game would be illegal. I draw. Wait, what did you do that was illegal? I'm what gonna you... beat you so bad it's gonna feel illegal. What? That's a horrible phrase. Standby phase. I gain 1,000. Thank you for the gift, duelist. I appreciate it. You're so kind. I drew just the card I needed, too. Normal summon High Tide Gyojin. You'll pay 500. I will. Not a big problem since you gave me a thousand. I did give you a thousand. And thanks to your Umairuka, it's actually gonna gain some attack points. Let's have High Tide Gyojin attack this Mother Grizzly. I do have to pay a thousand for this. Goodbye, Mother Grizzly. Maha Vilo, we're going to pay another thousand and attack the Sonic Bird. Your move to us. Draw. Activate Gaia Power. Normal summon Whiptail Crow. Equip Whiptail Crow with Horn of the Unicorn. My Whiptail Crow is bigger than your High Tide Gyojin. I pay a thousand. Whiptail Crow attack Gyojin. And I gotta end my turn. I draw. Standby phase and now main phase. I thankfully have enough life points to actually attack. God, <laughs> if I didn't, that would be truly the worst. It's time to end this. Maha Vilo, by paying 1,000, is gonna attack your Whiptail Crow. Good game. Good game with 3550 attack points. Paul wins our game of chicken. <laughs> really wild ass game. <laughs> Like so, I so this this set like you know what's funny about these Yu-Gi-Oh sets I've realized what they they have like this sort of like high level strategy where it's like okay these are like the good cards everybody wants from the set right yeah delinquent duo and like relinquished or whatever but then there's like the scraps degenerate the, 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 the stuff that the poor people or the kids in the playground get to play awesome well that was spell ruler it looks like I am the spell ruler today all right but look I'm the uh, the metal raider sure <laughs> so who's gonna be the pharaoh's servant. Is that something hey, you nobody want to be? Like, I don't know. Nobody Is that something you want to be? I'll be the know. apostle. All right, cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, we are doing a lot of these different old school packs, these 25th anniversary things that got re-released. So check them out if you haven't seen them. Stay tuned for the future ones. Yeah, make sure you click a related video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Past turn. turn.